Hey guys, Skip here, and Mike just pulled in, and I think he's got a surprise for us, so hold tight. What's up, Skip? Hey, Mike, what's up, man? I brought a new unboxing for you. Yeah, you got to pop the top? Did you Did you have to leave the top open to get it here? No. Oh, cool. Man, this thing's getting bigger every time I look at it. Yeah. Wow. Oh. You know this thing? I got to reach, look at this, I got to reach up to the... That's as high as I can reach, and I'm not you a short. Try to wash it and I'm almost well. I'm five ten. All right, what's in the box? That's a big truck, man. That's a Tahoe what too. Did it bring you? Holy cow! You got it out too already. That is a big box. Well, let's see. Uh, I haven't told anybody what it is. It says PRB 0904 48 inch Zelos G catamaran. G for gas. G for gas. G for gas. Ready to run. Dude, it's cold out here. Let's get this thing in the house right. instead of doing the unboxing outside. Let's see who I got it Oh, this guy here. Uh, let me make sure I get this close up good here. This guy is a, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rich. Rich. You guys want to contact Rich. Uh, if He's you're local awesome local in Grays, Grays Lake around, around my, area, my area here. Excellent hobby shop. I've been there myself. Guy give you a good deal. Hey, I'm going to need help while carrying this. I will help you. Let me put the camera down and we guys, we will see you in a short. Hey guys, Skip here again with Mike, Crash Test Mike. He bought a new toy and he wants to show it to us. He wants to share it with us. We're doing an unboxing? Yeah, it's an unboxing. And and you're the star of the show. I'm just going to run the camera, guys, so I may not be here all the time. I'm, I'm going to help him probably get this thing out of here. If it's, in, if it's packed as tight as any of the other Horizon Hobby products. Actually, this is, well, it's, it's from Horizon Hobby, right? Yeah, uh, but I got it from... Uh, but he's bought it from, from Gray, Gray's Lake Hobby Shop. That's cool that you support your local hobby store, too. You know, that's kind of important out there, guys. This is this guy. You can read it. Yeah, Rich over at... Uh, Rich, was it? Rich. Rich over at Gray's Lake Hobby World. That's www.grayslakehobbyworld.com if you guys are anywhere And he, close. he has a, a full-supported uh, bicycle shop. He sells... Uh, Every kind of mountain bike and every kind of bike, and he has a shop for bikes, and he has a mechanic on site for airplanes, boats, cars, trucks, anything RC. That's cool, awesome. So, so if you got a problem with uh, with something that's running, too, bring it. Or you just bring the motor in there, or bring the. You whole know how some of the there. differentials blow up and yeah, gas yeah. trucks in it? They'll fix it. Well, gases always have a whole time. Yeah. Nitros and everything else always have a harder time keeping them running. You know, that's what I like about battery. You know, I mean, battery, the, the motor it either works or it doesn't work. The battery is either shot or it isn't shot. You know and sometimes I mean? you can order things from like Horizon or whatever, but you don't have support from. Wow. Let me. I don't know how. I'm gonna wet my fingertips. <laughs> some grip. This thing's huge. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna have to cut the box. You know what? Let's turn it upside down. I learned this. All right. You let gravity do its work. It's heavy, man. Without fuel, they said this boat is up, or this uh, this toy is. And we already gave it away out there with the PRB yeah, yeah, yeah. catamaran, it's a 48 inch catamaran. So that's gonna be. It's a, it's a no it's a no brainer now. Well, the outside of the bark box isn't all marked up, so you can't no. see pictures of it yet. You guys gotta wait till we open it up to see it. So we'll turn it. This is a pretty looking boat. I can't wait to see it. Other than the pictures I've seen of it. Should we show them a picture of it real quick? That's how big it is. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the rest is all protective gear. Oh, we are oh my gosh! Oh, holy jeez! Oh my gosh! Look at that skip! Oh, and just when I stopped buying stuff, oh That's my so god! Oh, Mike, what do you have to bring this here for? Came with a radio. Oh man! I think we got. I'm gonna have to go get my other Pro Boat just so we can do a comparison in size. I've got a Blackjack 29, pretty nice boat. And the Blackjack 29 takes up about this much spot of this boat. Holy moly. That's a big boat. I don't know that I've ever seen a race boat, like you know, an electric race boat this big. This ain't electric. It's not electric, but uh, uh, it's race safe. I don't think I've seen one this big. Not in person, anyway. Save everything nicely because I want to put it back in the box. Yeah, you know what? This has probably got your radio and stuff in I'm it. I'm sure it does. You can open it. I, I know. It's got some tools and... It's 
got a radio. It's a DS, a DMX. It's a Spectrum. Yeah, it's a Spectrum radio, DMX2. Jack Owner's manual and, and a spark plug wrench. Uh, it, it takes a spark plug that big. Holy cow, guys! I can stick my whole finger. That's in not it. That's it. That's it. It's that big of a spark Let's plug. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. We got a chainsaw motor on this thing. I got holy it. cow. Okay. All right. I'm looking at it. I want to just put everything back. Here, nice uh, and take easy it, cut that tape. Nice and simple. That, that can actually stay there. It doesn't no, have it doesn't. Out. You have to open it. Well, so, so. this this is gonna come right out. See, see the way the front is. Oh, they, they're on the bottom too. Oh, yeah. 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 So okay. we're just gonna get rid of this guy here. But you can't pull that out. It no. comes out together. So if we lift the bolt, the whole. Okay. That whole thing will just come out. Okay. I got the easy end, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, ready when you are. All right. Oh, should I grab a stand or something to put this on so it's... It came with a stand. It's, you know what's already sitting on the stand. It's still okay. in the mold. So, pull your end out first. Take yours out. There we go. Oh my God, now, if you can hold it and don't move, I can move the box out of the way. Okay. I can do it carefully because your radio's in there. Yeah, I'm sure there's another box of stuff down in there, too. I'll set this one down carefully. Okay. Dude, this is this is bigger than my kitchen table. Wow, it's got a three-bladed pry. I want one. <laughs> I, I can tell I'm gonna want one. And you said you don't have to tape down the hand the, the, the hatch. The hatch no. it tightens onto a You can open it. it. Maybe we could slide this forward past the hatch. There we go. Okay. We could just take this off and just set it on. No, I don't want to set it on the ground. Well, yeah, you got it. And then people get to see exactly what we got. Is that a prop or a holy cow, man? That's for you in there. Yeah, don't get don't get caught with that up. thing. I need to uh, prop this end up a little bit higher, or just put something else on it. Just that. back in the front. Okay, you, just set it down. Come on over to this side so you know people aren't looking at your butt. Not that it's not a nice butt, but so anyways. So well, we can't really. Yeah, we could set it on the on, we could set it down there. Just hang the hang this part off the end of the table. If you want? If you're smart, we could just set this right on here. Watch. It came with a stand. Where's where'd they have the stand at? It's right there. Oh, it's it's built in there. It's there and here. But oh, we that. can set it right on this. Pick it up. Come back some. It'll stay. Okay. So it looks like the exhaust comes out. It looks like I put the rudder on. Um, it's got auto bailers. Guys, there. I'm gonna do a little walk around so these guys get to see this. This is a sweet boat. I don't know if you guys know what auto bailers are. Auto bailer. Um, they're already molded in and built in. Auto bailers, yeah. Oh, they're uh, the to get a centrifugal force, fast motion forward. Water goes in. They see uh, once it goes forward, the bear, or I don't know how they work. I don't want to lie. So motion, but, in other words, motion opens them up to let them drain, and when you stop, they close up. That's pretty cool. Say stainless steel prop too, dude. I don't think so. I think it's aluminum. Trust me, it's stainless. Uh, mine has stainless on it too. That looks like aluminum. I don't think so, man. Okay. Doesn't sound like it either. You know, how aluminum has a certain exhaust. touch to it. And, um, it's got to shut off. This, this uh, is sweet. Exhaust ports. It's only got one exhaust. I think it's that one. Water dump. And cooling. Your cooling water jack but comes out of here, huh? Because I don't see them off the sides. Inside. Oh my gosh. It's got a uh, 30 cc. All right, take that back about the chainsaw. This is about twice the size of my chainsaw. Fuel tank 30 is right cc here. motor. So it's got cooling in. And cooling it runs on regular gasoline. Um, right? Two stroke. Two stroke. Okay, so mix oil and gas. So the exhaust manifold is obviously. Uh... Hmm. 
There is a port that the water comes out, right? It's got a tune port exhaust, stainless steel too. Yeah, but the port comes out right here for the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. Okay, and I'm I see sure that. It, uh, because I can see that it's shooting water so, through so, the so manifold. It cools the exhaust and the engine. Man, this is awesome. Heavy duty servos. Real heavy duty servo. How many? What, like 50 gram, probably something like that. Huge, huge servo back here. That darn phone always rings when I don't want it to, and it's always one of those robo calls. I don't even bother listening to it. Anymore. And then it's supposed to have a lipo. A lipo? Oh. Oh, for the electronics, probably. That's a watertight case. And then this is a big fuel. Big fuel reservoir there, man. How, how long does this thing run for? It said 45 minutes. 45 minute run time? See if you can unplug that, or pull that pin out. I used to have to. Man, those fingers are like mine. I just cut my nails, so I don't have nothing to grab with. She can open it. What's in the... Okay, look at that. Oh, it comes, yeah, oh it comes with a, with a nice, oh, that's a nice 3300 reaction. These are good batteries, by the way. Are they? Yeah, I've been using one for, for quite a while. That's for the receiver. On, uh, it doesn't on need my, a battery it came, for came with the my, ignition. Uh, it came with my Vortex. Look at that. That's cool. That's amazing. Yeah, this is sweet. This is going to be a nice ride. I can't wait to see this thing. This is a big improvement over the other one that you bought. Big, big time. I mean, this one's really got fiberglass, really made well. This one's got super fiberglass construction. I'm going to tell them what I did. They do have the foam up in the front for flotation, just in case. Yeah, keep it a keep it afloat. Sweet boat, dude. You know, they always look nicer than they do in their pictures. I have to admit. Shot down right? the middle. Yeah, it's all hand, oh, handmade, goes. hand done fiberglassing, guys. You won't we can see tell too them the story more. what I did last time when I I bought an RC boat like this and I smashed it right off the get go. You won't see too many more boats like this. I imagine there's a mast that you put this up through. The antenna. Oh, um, there's another parts box. Yeah, it's gonna have a mast that's gonna stick it up nice and. And there's a rudder there for you. So a few things to hook up. Other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. I love it. I love it. Damn, my, my fingers are too big for these little... I just had to buy a bed, so I can't afford to buy anything else right now. I'm glad you brought this by, because I was thinking, mm, can't I do an unboxing on a bed? You know, it's one of those bed in a box, you know, that self-inflates. So I thought it could be fun. might be fun for me to watch, but I don't know if anybody I think that's a Zonal, uh, or however they say it. A what? A, a I'm going to say Zola or Zona or something. Dynamite? Oh, it's made by Dynamite, but... Oh, the... E, uh, a Zono Zonoa? I don't know. ONS or something? I forget. It's not ONS. No, not ONS. 48G. There it goes. Anyways... It'd be a little harder to flip this over, too. Be a little more... Uh, uh, you know how much stable, I'm guessing. Look at how nice this is built compared to that other oh, Japanese. Oh, geez, that Japanese that piece of that, that wood thing that you barely, I'm not gonna mention the name. Yeah, I was gonna say, but you barely bumped that thing into the seawall and it <laughs> how much damage did it do? It broke the whole dang front end. This thing here, you know, if, if you bump something, you might get a crack, you might scuff the yeah, paint. But, we're not know, gonna but do it's that. fiberglass too, and it's easy to repair. I like it. Real easy to repair fiberglass. And still make it look nice too. It's beautiful, Mike. I'm impressed. So what made you, what prompted you to get this? Kill switch? Is that kill, um, kill switch? My brother's got an RC boat. Uh, he's got an uh, enforcer that's been sitting for like maybe three or four years. I just got that running yesterday. He's like, I'd really like to get that running. So I went through the carburetors and did all the lines and it started right up. And I'm like, okay. Now I'm going to go buy a boat. Now I want a boat. <laughs> That's sometimes how it happens. You know, now you I'm looking at this. I haven't got a gasser of anything. And, I'm and like, you got oh, an RC boat. So I've, 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 we, yeah, I've got a couple of them. And we found a pond right up the road that we could possibly... We got the whole river right across, right down the street from me. It's, well, how much fun would it be for all three of us to run? Oh, I'd be a guess. Or go on a pontoon boat. And I've got a canoe. You know, I've got not a canoe, but I've got a, a, a raft, you know, just in case something happens yeah. and I have to paddle out. 
Awesome. Gary's another one. He likes to run his boats. He'll, so I'll get him to, to yeah, go. Before. Yeah, before I was having now, a gas what's his name? Uh, your other buddy. Uh, Which one? I forgot his name. Boats wise? Gary's the only guy I run, run boats with. The other guy with the big boat. Oh, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl. Oh, Daryl would be impressed with this. Yeah, maybe maybe he'll see boat. this. On, maybe he'll see this if he watches the channel. So maybe we all can just get together. Hey Daryl, if you catch us, how's it going, buddy? Give us a call. We wanna we wanna have some fun together this year. We miss you, pal. So anyways. Flying or boating. We're open for both. <laughs> RC <laughs> Skip Built RC and the Crash Test Boys are open for both now. What's next? Uh, uh Helicopter. Helicopters. Tanks. We're gonna get tanks. We already got tanks. Tanks for battle tanks. Do battle shop, battle tanks. That'd be kind of fun. I think my next toy will be a helicopter, but I think I want a gas one this time. Well, this is sweet, guys. Put the top back on them so they get to see what I'm it looks like real quick. And... Did you get it? No, because it's really hard to hold. Ha uh -huh. I'm sorry. I didn't say that. <laughs> hates when I say ha ha ha. You know what started me on that? My mom did that to me. What? And she did it when I smashed my thumb with a hammer up on the roof. And she goes, did you hit your thumb? I says, yeah. She goes, ha ha. Oh, my fingers are too big for the <laughs> But she didn't. I got so mad at her. I'm like, why would you say ha ha? I just hurt myself. Doing a favor for you? Oh, it was hysterical. Mom, if you see this video, I don't know if I like you this remember the because, moment. Uh, that's the only, the only air that's going to go into the motor. Uh, intake? No, the intakes are here. I'm talking about air to cool the motor. Is it going in? Yeah, that's a, that's a screen. So, yeah. That's, that's Is that going to be enough? Sure. You're getting ram air going in. Things moving, it's gonna be sucking and, and you know it's gonna be drawing air, air through there too, just like a carburetor jet. I bet it'd be fine. And I guarantee you don't have to tape the hatch on this at all. Yeah, I really like the uh, I really like the setup. I like the way it's made. Very sturdy, very well designed. That's pretty badass. Cannot wait to see it in the water. Thanks for sharing this with us, Mike. And it's got a clutch. And, and it's clutch, clutch for safety, yes. so you don't have to just throw and go with the thing. Oh, okay, so I remember the old ones, you had to, you know, you get them started, up, you, right, yeah, right, and try to throw, and just throw it and go, and if you're lucky, you, you can try to put it in the clear water. the prop with your wrist. Oh. Yeah. You know I'm going to have to put some breaking oil, and they recommend uh, AMS oil. AMS oil will break it in? AMS oil is the best, because I run that in my, my little blazer outside, or my little Tahoe, mm -hmm. in my new snowmobile, and everything I've run two-stroke. It Obviously breaks the engines in, in nicely then, huh? It's just the best oil. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for sharing this with us, my friend. I'll, I'll uh, turn this off now and give you a hand putting it back, okay? Okay. Let's see how heavy this is. What would you say? 25 pounds. That's more than I want to lift right now, I think. 25 pounds. Great. And that's dry weight. That's no, 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 fuel. no fuel, no battery, no nothing. Well, it does well, have a battery. Batteries in it. Batteries in it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Definitely, uh, and thank running. you, and thank you for sharing this with us. And uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing this running. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, thumbs up if, if if you like this, and uh, uh, we'll leave a link at the bottom. Of course, I think it's the only gas-powered boat on Horizon Hobby webpage. If you want to take a look at it, um, the next video you'll see. All subscribe of us if you boats. haven't. It's free, and we will see you soon. I hope the weather's finally starting to shape up a little bit around here. I'd like to get start out get some. Some flying done and stuff too right yeah we, we all have new toys that we want to play but we haven't been able to play with them because of the stupid weather all right thanks guys for watching and uh have yourself a wonderful weekend coming up this is skip signing out and mike